Welcome to the Perspective Podcast, where we embrace open dialogue from different perspectives about entrepreneurship, relationships, and education. And this open dialogue is needed, especially today, as we live in a Twitter finger society where everyone seems to care more about getting their point across than they are about hearing the other person's perspective. If you're ready to grow your business, your relationships, and your personal development, stick with us here at the Perspective Podcast, because sometimes in life, to get to the next level, you just need a different perspective. If I look like what I've been through, I'd be roadkill. Tell me off of the pavement, I'm reeking from the... All right, everybody, welcome to another episode of the Perspective Podcast. I'm your host, one of your hosts, C. Muzan. Got my boy T here with me. Say what's up, T. What's going on, family? Guys, we are back. We are back for season three, episode number one. We're making this thing happen, trucking along, excited to share our perspective with you, excited to be back now in video form, right, T? Oh, yeah. Well, you know, I'm at the beach hanging out, so, you know what I'm saying? You're cold probably up in Philly right now. That's right. (laughs) Freezing up here, which I could be on the beach with you right now, but either way, it's our perspectives that we make this thing happen, so... Glad we could be back with you guys again for all the, for all the listeners and everyone that's uh, been rocking with us for man what's it been that we're going on like this is our thirty second or thirty third episode something like that so lost count I lost count after twenty five yeah we've been, <laughs> we've been rocking and rolling so 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 thanks to all of the uh, all all of our listeners everybody that's out there that's you know been supporting been you know either sharing or listening to the content we definitely appreciate you guys for everybody that's just jumping on. Uh, because you get a chance to see the video kind of uh, for the first time or listen to the podcast on audio for the first time. Welcome. Uh, again, Terrell and I, we go way back. Our story, we were in college together. We were teammates, roommates. We made this thing happen from 15, 16 years ago. We got, yeah. re- we got reconnected because we realized that uh, we had traveled uh, our own paths in life, right? And uh, oh, yeah. got back to a place where uh, we had some common interests and common things that, that were happening, and we knew that having the conversation around um, our, our perspectives was going to be important, not just for us, but for everyone out there listening, and especially during times like like now, yeah. uh, where it's never been more important to hear someone else's side of the story or get someone else's viewpoint uh, to really help push our, our society and uh, our communities further. Uh, in the proper and the right conversations, we knew that this podcast was going to be awesome. And it's oh yeah, oh yeah, awesome. Well, hey, we're back. So again, season three here to go. Today we're going to dive right into one of the topics that Terrell and I have been po- <laughs> bouncing around on for a week or so, or a little bit before then. Um, and it's a very popular topic that a lot of people have been talking about in the social space. Uh, is a new app that is out, uh, and it is Clubhouse. So today on the Perspective Podcast, we're gonna have this conversation about this new app, Clubhouse, and really what it's doing and why the big hurrah and mm-hmm. right all the, all the hoopla around it. We're gonna dive in and kind of have a little bit of conversation about it. So real quick, T, jump in. Tell the people, like, when's the first time Clubhouse kind of popped on your radar and give the people some background on like what you see it as and you know what it actually is yeah i mean honestly it i think it was it might have been around december or something where i'm on twitter right just kind of hanging out on twitter you know scrolling through and i hear people talking about jay-z 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 and clubhouse y'all need to jump in clubhouse jay-z's in clubhouse and at that point in time, I didn't know what, what was going on. I had, I don't, you know, I'm a, I'm a droid. I'm an Android, you know, guy. So, you know, I'm like, and Jay-Z's in Clubhouse. I don't know if that's like some new slang. I'm usually not up on all the new slang <laughs> or anything <laughs> like that. So I'm just like, I, I don't know what that means. Um, but it seems very important. Jay-Z's in Clubhouse. Maybe it's some type of video shoot or something like that. Um, you know, now take it a couple weeks later, everybody's like, hey, I need an invite. I'm on Facebook now, just going around, you know, with content and reading comments. And somebody, people are like, hey, um, somebody send me an invite. I'm trying to get in the clubhouse. 
I'm like, Clubhouse? That's not, wasn't that where Jay-Z was? Like, you know, <laughs> wasn't that where Jay-Z was? And yeah. then literally it's like page after page of people just talking about, give me some, give me an invite, give me an invite. So I asked my wife, I'm like, you heard of Clubhouse? She was like, yeah, I'm trying to get in, but I heard it's not for us. I was like, why is it not for, not for black people? Like, you know? <laughs> I'm like, Jay-Z was in it. <laughs> Nah, she was just like, no, I want to get in. I heard it's really fun. She was like, but it's only for Apple users. And I'm like, oh, well, psh, what does it do? You know, what is it about? And she's like, oh, no, you get in there, you hang out, you talk to friends. And I'm like, well, don't you do that on House Party? And she's like, yeah. I said, don't you do that on LinkedIn? Yeah. Like, don't you do that on Microsoft Teams at work? Yeah. I'm like, so why do I need another app yeah. to go on and just talk about stuff with people that I already talked to with? No, thank you. I'm okay. <laughs> then a few weeks later... This guy, Chris, hey, man, <laughs> are you on Clubhouse? And I'm like, Chris, you know I ain't got no Apple products, man. I ain't on no Clubhouse. And then we started talking some more. I started doing some research. And then I went out and got me an iPad. <laughs> That's it, man. I was right there with you. Like, I got sucked in very, very similar. Like, we have similar stories. Again, it's always interesting to me about how we learn about things, right? Like, how yeah. things hit our radar that are yeah. popular in culture or whatever the case is. It's like, where do you really hear? And I was, it was like the same exact thing for me, right? I remember being on Twitter um, because also Android user. I mean, I happen to have a, a, a MacBook as a computer, but outside of that, I don't have any other Apple products. Yeah. And, you know, I was on Twitter, just hanging out on Twitter and I happened to see the exact same thing. It was like Jay-Z's birthday and everybody was, there was a threat, you know, it, I think it popped up in my trending. Mm -hmm. Yes. Twitter yeah. That said like yeah. Clubhouse or Jay-Z or something like that. And I'm a Jay-Z, you know, fan. I really, you know, I like him as a businessman and all that stuff. So I was like, oh, what's going on? And it was just like you said, like tweet after tweet after tweet of, yo, this Clubhouse, this Jay-Z Clubhouse is so live, this Jay-Z Clubhouse, this. And I'm like, what is this? And they were saying like, you know, all of his friends were in there talking about him for like 10 hours or something. And I was like, what is this Clubhouse? That's really when it popped onto the radar. Yeah. You know, call it Big Brother, call it, you know, Facebook spying on you or whatever. But right after that, you get a chance, you start to see it. It pops up in the feed a bit more. Mm -hmm. And then just like you said, you start hearing people talking about mm -hmm. it. And I remember it got to a point maybe late December-ish, early, probably late December of 2020, where people were like selling clubhouse invites. <laughs> like, like, it was that exclusive, like on some, hey, like you have to, like you, you might want to pay yeah. somebody to get in here and that's when i was like really like is this something that like i should be paying attention to is mm -hmm. it something that's just the next hot thing like the fad like what yeah. really is this and uh yeah i i had you know three or four other people hit me up like hey are you on clubhouse and these are people like i respect they're people mm -hmm. that i know you know i would i would value their opinion and i was like no i'm not i'm not a you know i'm not a, a, a iphone user an iOS user, and they're like, every single one of those people were like, you know, you'd be great at this, or this is mm -hmm. where you should be, right? Yep. Because of this audio space. So yes. um, that's how it kind of all pop, popped in. Um, and for those of you that don't know what Clubhouse is, because you know, <laughs> right? Like we're, we're jumping right in, because like we're seeing this stuff, but there's probably people out there, again, you, many of you Android users or people that just honestly may not be in the marketing space, social media space, networking yeah. space, right? Like you might not know that this app is popular, uh, but basically what it is, is uh, an, a voice first, mm -hmm. kind of like a voice only app. And the app is, and this is how it was explained to me and it helped me picture it very well when it was explained to me this way. But it's imagine walking into uh, a big dining hall and there's lots of different long tables with people sitting there dining but having a conversation, right? And you are privy to walk into this open room with all these strangers and all these dining tables and you can walk into that, that room and that conversation, sit at that table and just listen to the conversation. Correct. If there was a conversation that you would be, you know, excited to be a fly on the wall or excited yeah. to listen to, you have the ability to do that in Clubhouse. Mm -hmm. And so for, you know, for like T and I, I know we jump into a lot of the business talks or, mm -hmm. right, making money or entrepreneurship or networking or those things. But then, right, like T says, mm -hmm. like his wife, like, is in there, right, having more conversations about maybe pop culture or- Correct. 
a TV or entertainment or something yeah. along those lines. And it can span all of those, right, T? Yep, yeah, that's the cool thing about it. I mean, when I first got in, I thought it was pretty select because the people that I was talking to about it, outside of like my, my wife, who's more on the podcast, but pop culture side of things, right? Mm -hmm. um, Joe Buttons and, you know, a couple of, you know, several other people. Whereas I was like, all right, well, what's the business side? So I started seeing that. I was like, okay, maybe it's more, it's like, maybe it's like two extremes, if you will, right? Like I'm just having fun in here, ch chopping it up, or I'm like straight business. But when I got in there, it's, it's everything in between. I mean, you, there's conversations about, you know, just the, the environment, you know, there's conversations about like human rights. There's conversations about, I mean, other countries are have their own segments in there that talk about their issues. So I think that's where I'm, I'm naturally like a person that just likes to listen. Right. Like, you know, I, you know, we have the podcast, you know, you get us talking, we'll mess around and start talking for hours, but, but my, my best, the thing that I love to do the most is just listen and learn. And so one of the bet, the rooms that I went into funny enough last night where it was entrepreneurs pitching their idea, whether they were trying to get advice or they were trying to get money or they were trying to find a partner and they pitched it to a panel of, you know, 50 people and they select the people at the time that had businesses that were already making $10 million. And they were like, hey, I need this help. And literally they were, and then they were like, well, what type of advice do you want? You want hard advice or soft advice? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? And it really broke it down. It was real. Like it was one of the more real conversations that I heard that I was happy to be, I felt like I needed to pay to be in that conference. Like it was the type of stuff that when I paid for conferences, you got that type of detailed information, but it's given right there on an audio platform for free. Sure. Right. And I and I thought like that was extremely valuable in my 20 minutes of listening in before I jumped into another room where it was like, man, I learned something and I found somebody else to now follow that I like kind of what I heard from them and how the, their style was. And the cool thing about it also is just, it's no it's no video. It's just audio. Right. So because at first I thought it was video and I was like, man, people backgrounds, you know, I'm going to be the you know, I'm going to be the silly person in there with a beach background in the middle <laughs> of winter. Right. Like, you know, what I mean? um, you know, but it wasn't it was truly like just having a conversation but very straight very upfront and it was a controlled environment which is also i like too because everybody just wasn't talking over each other like what you might get with a zoom type call every now and then so i, I really 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 like that part of it yeah i mean they definitely have the structure in place so again for those of you that haven't played around on the app or haven't gotten an invite uh, just, just, just yet. You can basically, when you go into one of the rooms or, you know, you're listening in on a conversation, there's the audience and then there's like the panelists or the Correct. people that can be uh, on the stage is what they call it. Right. And the, the good part is there's someone that is moderating. So someone starts the room, right? You create mm -hmm. these, these rooms are created and then you invite people to it. And so there's a moderator or two or three or four, right, in that are on the stage constantly. And then you have the audience that comes in, you, people just popping in. And if you hear something and it's one of those rooms where you're like, man, I have something to say to that, you can just raise your hand mm -hmm. and then they can bring you up on stage. The moderator brings you up on stage and that's when you have the chance to mute and unmute yourself and you can actually communicate to the room. And yeah. You know, some of these rooms have, you know, they're intimate. I've been in rooms that have seven, eight people in it, and everyone's just kind of talking and jamming. I've been in rooms that have 800 people in it, and mm -hmm. the right, the audience is huge, and you're probably not going to get on stage, <laughs> right? Like, it's probably one yeah. of those. It's right? not meant for you to get on stage. <laughs> exactly, right? It's not meant for you to get on stage, so they have everything in between. Um, but it's interesting in that voice first because this is and this is kind of where we'll start to kind of go down this path of mm -hmm. like understanding the perspective of this but like this is one of the first voice only mm -hmm. and voice first platforms mm -hmm. that's out there yeah like, that i've heard about for sure yeah, yeah like you know like you mentioned a few like house party like that's a video mm -hmm. per se like a lot mm -hmm. of the things that we know are video first yeah and then this took it back to this like Let's just let's just talk, right? Like let's just yeah. the the party line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the party, party line, line back in the nineties, right? Like exactly. you get on the jump on the party line. <laughs> that's, that's very similar to what yeah. this is, and bringing that back out, uh, you know, for me, one of the the eases of using it 
after, by the way, going to purchase an iPad, just like yourself, T, <laughs> right? It's the only way to- We needed a new one anyway, so. <laughs> exactly, right? Like I was, I was thinking about it anyway, but you know, I pulled the trigger because of Clubhouse. Uh, yeah. But but just getting a chance to uh, dive into to these rooms and see that you feel a little bit more comfortable. I don't know if you had this feeling, but I had a, this feeling when I, it was late night, it was, you know, 11 p.m. or something, and I just wanted to jump on and kind of figure out the app. I didn't have to worry about potentially, right, like being the right lighting, mm -hmm. making sure that like I was in a good place. I could literally just throw my headphones in. I could be doing other things. Yeah. Uh, and I think that is an attractive um, kind of part of the app, wouldn't you say? Yeah, it's funny you say that because I initially, like, again, I thought it was video. Like, in my head, I could not get away from the video aspect of it. So I jump in, and so I signed up, I put all my groups, and then I'm like, okay, well, I'm not ready to jump in the room yet because, you know, I'm running around the house. So late night, one in the morning, I'm finally starting to wind down. I just did my studies and stuff. And so I, I, acc I accidentally hit a room. And I'm in, and like my wife is asleep, and then it, they just start talking. I think on camera, I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> like, I'm like, oh, oh. <laughs> like, you know, you get that feel like you're on Zoom, like, oh no, I'm about to be a beeb, right? Yeah. <laughs> so I screenshotted that. Uh, <laughs> and then I realized, I was like, hold up. Oh, it's voice. It's just voice. And then it was like, like you said, it was an ease of, oh, I can quietly move in and out of these rooms. I can just pop in, I can listen, then I can ease myself out. There's no, you know, I'm not intruding or nothing like that, right? It's just a smooth, I want I want to be a fly on the wall. What do you have to say? And if it's interesting, I'm following, yeah. right? It's simple as that. If it's interesting, I'm following you. And then it, I even found myself going down the rabbit hole because it was like, I may not find these people on Instagram or other places because I don't look for them like that like anymore. Right. So now, but once somebody started talking, I was like, oh, I ended up on their Instagram, which led me to their website, which led me to, I was like, okay, now this is somebody that's consistent right. and somebody I'm trusting. And I'm like, wow, look at that because they just got on the app and they're having a conversation. So I think, you know, part of the conversation we want to have is it's like, why should somebody be on, right? Like, that's the question. Like, why are we, I think we're both advocating, right? We both have the perspective. If you're in business, if you are a coach or, a, you know, an entrepreneur, a high achieving, you know, um, you know, person that wants to stay on the job, whatever, or thinking about having a side hustle, whatever it is you're trying to do, this is a platform for you to grow at your network. Yeah. in a very easy seamless type of manner and i like that about like so if you're that individual and typically that's who's listening to this podcast mm -hmm. you gotta be on it <laughs> you gotta be on this platform what you say chris no i i 100 percent agree and like you said like in this one instance back in perspective like our, our our perspective like we're saying the same thing we advocate yeah. for a platform like this and i think you hit the nail on the head with who we're talking to, right? It's the people that want to continue to grow, network, build their business, those things. Here's here's a couple things that I found just already. Anytime you get into an early platform is the people that are there are eager to connect. Yeah, That's what yeah. you find on yeah. early platforms, right? It doesn't necessarily happen now in your Facebooks or your Instagrams because they've no. been around, they're at maturity. But the reason people are jumping on this platform is because they want to connect. They mm -hmm. want to either share their message. They want to get to know people. There's a lot of people that want to sell their thing, right? They're in business. They want to market or promote their product or whatever, and that's totally fine. It's whatever they want to do, but it's really about the connection, right? The other side of it is the information. Mm -hmm. Again, we, you know, we're inundated with information. I, I'm starting to get to this place of understanding that you know, we don't need more information. We actually need some wisdom, some guidance, yeah, 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 some practical, yeah. like, all right, yeah. now you know everything, that's great. Now let's hone it into these couple mm -hmm. things, right? I'm starting to think that that's more of what, what we need. Yeah. But, but nonetheless, out of, uh, of the you know week or so that I've been on Clubhouse, because this hasn't been long for either yeah, one of us yeah. at the time of recording this, we've only been on for a little bit of time. We still got the little newbie symbol. Yeah, we still got the little party <laughs> hat, right? Like we ain't even, we ain't even really stepped in the we game We ain't tricking yet. nobody. <laughs> um, but the little bit that I have seen, like I've been in, 
you know, a room about late night, like about, you know, starting a vending machine business, mm -hmm. right? And so there's people out there that just don't have that information or that knowledge or yeah. don't know who to connect to, right? About, let's say, a vending machine business, but then there happens to be a room on Clubhouse where you can just pop in as the audience and listen to people that are already either A, running a vending machine business or have questions about it, and yep. it'll help you get your thing. I've seen that I've been in a real estate room, very similar with real estate deals. I've been, and you said last, you know, you were in a, a room about pitching business, right? Mm -hmm. So there's also a part of this where if you just were on the app to learn, to yeah. listen, to yeah. take in information and be like, yeah. huh, I never thought about that. Like that's, that's kind of interesting. And yeah. then you take that back and do whatever you're gonna do with it in your own world. That's also a resource that the app can be used for, right? Yeah, exactly. hundred percent, man. I'm in, I just think about like, you know, kind of transitioning a little bit. We were, we started talking about this and then we were like, okay, hold on, let's save it for the podcast. Right. It's now it's, I'm like, all right, this is data. Right. So that's why it's also only for Apple. The iOS is because it's in data. Right. Um, now Chris even, and I, it's not even fully out. Like that's the crazy part. It has, yeah. Buzz. And it's in beta testing. Like it's, it's in beta. It got people switch it over, right? Like, I was <laughs> like, you know, like, hey, I need to go buy an Apple now. So this is where it may get interesting because I I have a theory around why it started there, right? Which for me, it's it's the largest platform. It's centralized. It's easy to get a lot of bigger names on there early, right? Because that's kind of the foundation. Um, but then we started talking about like the marketing, right? Because at some point you got to make money. Right. At, at some point, you're going to make some money. You, you, it has to. Facebook had to do it. The only reason to be in business, right? Like right? You're in business to make a profit, right? To trying to make some money, right? Are you trying to, you, even if you're nonprofit, you got to make profit to be able to help the people that you're trying to help. <laughs> right. To stay in business. <laughs> right. So the conversation starts going to, okay, how long are we going to stay here where it's organic? Like Chris said, like we cannot stress the point enough. Now, the other side of it, which is people like my wife, that they she wants to go in there. She's not jumping in a business real estate deal conversation. She's not trying to sell a business. She just wants to go in there and listen to other people talk about pop culture, listen to other people talk about topics that are interesting and most important to her, like kids, mommy groups, et cetera, you know, marriage groups, like how to be better, you know, even for herself, just self-help and all that. Um, we cannot stress enough the point of people want to engage in here. This is not your Facebook where people are trying to front show you and then say, hit me up in the DM so they can sell you something. This is legitimately where I'm seeing people like, I want to talk to you. I normally would not talk to you on Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, Snapchat, TikTok. I would have never said anything to you, but now for, for whatever reason, I want to talk to you here. Mm -hmm. But with that type of concentration of energy and focus, I think it's creating this nice tight niche of like-minded people because you only get a certain number of invites. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, people are selling invites. I mean, I think it's a good idea. If anybody want to invite, I got my first two still, right? Like, you know what I'm saying? Holla at me. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> you know? No, I'm joking. But you get select, right? You know, why not? But you get selective in who you invite because you only have a certain amount. And what I think is, it's creating a very tight knit of like-minded people that as a company, when it's time to start get opening up to the advertising and the marketing, which I'm putting it on record now, I think it's gonna happen, right? If it gets out of beta, I think it's gonna happen, right? Then you already have a group of like-minded, tight-knit group of individuals that you can present to your new advertising agencies or whatnot and marketers to say, here you go, here goes your group, here goes the rooms, here goes what we found. And then because it's not like the wide range of everybody could just join and just have these random accounts that you end up marketing and advertising to on Facebook and different places because they're in this huge, massive group. It's tight, it's, calcul you know, it's calculated. And so that's where I think it's gonna be interesting how they sell that. And I think they sell it at a premium even more so than what LinkedIn does, which does have some similar tighter groups, but it's, it's starting to get a little bit bigger, you know, in, in scale in that regard. So that's my perspective yeah. on that. What's your thoughts? Uh, I mean, absolutely. I'm, 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 I'm right there with you. I think that there's going to be something in the space of, 
like the you know how you're able to invite like what that means i think what what we had talked about earlier was <laughs> I, know, I love the video now <laughs> <laughs> it, the, perks, the perks of having video now for it's a hey, listen it's our life man <laughs> it is, it is. Uh, but but yeah so i think there's really something there when it comes to um inviting people and the people that you're attached to on mm -hmm. the platform right yeah. i think and i think i read an article i think this is what we were talking about i read an article before that had specifically talked about like there are pro probably some type of lasting like ramifications of like let's say you invite someone on the platform that mm -hmm. isn't necessarily right the most up right like ethical you, person ethical yeah person right like yeah and they start, you know, slandering people or talking bad about a certain group of people or whatever, you're forever connected to that person because mm -hmm. on your profile, you see exactly who invited you onto the platform. Correct. Right? So if I invite you, and this is where it really gets down into that rabbit hole of like exclusion and like really saying like, wh you know, how tight am I going to be with my invites? Yeah, yeah. I'm forever going to be connected to these people that I'm inviting. I'm not just going to willy nilly just throw it out there. Yeah, to, nope. Because there may be some form of ramifications coming back down the line if they know I'm connected to this person. I brought them on. Maybe I get kicked off the platform. Maybe you never I know. Lose, yeah. I lose a credential or something like that because of a bad choice of who I chose to give this invite to, right? So yeah. I think we're gonna, th that's really gonna be the interesting thing to pay attention to. And whether that's right or wrong, I don't know, right? A lot of this, because it's testing, a lot of this is social experiment, right? 100%. Like, let's not like take it away, like the movie, right? The Netflix, uh, you know, social network, that mm -hmm. it, it, it brings to light a lot of things that like a lot of this is about mind control and, right? Population control and just, you know, keeping people in line so a lot of this stuff is an experiment and i'm yeah i mean to see what they're experimenting you know well it's funny you say that like and you know and please if you haven't gotten on the app already if if you can get on the app now we're not advocating also going into debt right chris will have a conniption i have to go ahead and put that disclaimer out there you right you know the money talk guy like do not go into debt to get an app that's not what we're having a conversation let me about. let me pray, let me stop there for a second okay just to let you know <laughs> Like, and my wife will tell you, so, and like, no brag, right? No, like, we have enough to cover an iPad, right? Like, yes, it's not yes. breaking the bank. It's not yes. blowing out our budget or anything. We have enough. It took me almost a month to pull the trigger <laughs> on a $300 iPad. I know. That's why I wanted to put it out there. Exactly. I wanted to put it out there. Thank just you so, for that just so. <laughs> give the right perspective of where we coming from, right? Because, you know, so, if you go listen to our other podcast, you're going to be like, hold up, y'all said, <laughs> now y'all telling us to go buy a $500 iPad. But it's just an to investment, too, right? It, it's an invest. That's how I looked at it. Maybe that's how I had to convince myself. Oh, yeah. It's oh, yeah. My investment. business bought it. Absolutely. <laughs> you Absolutely. know, because <laughs> the business NW Enterprise it, LLC. Right? <laughs> the, the business can benefit from it. So, yes. 100%, man. So, but, you know, as I was, I was saying, I think it's very critical to what you said in regards to you see who invited that person that forever stays with you mm -hmm. right so that's like your brand like that becomes a part of your brand mm -hmm. and so i got an alert that you know gary v was talking to a group and i missed it but it came up in my notifications i was like oh man gary v is giving a talk then i looked oh they gotta be a thousand people in this room it was 30 people in the room. Wow. I was like, go, I'll go, I wanna go. It was like a business advice from Gary Vee. I said, 30 people, I'm getting on stage. So I'm clicking in yeah. and it had ended by the time I got in. I was like, no. So then I go, I search Gary V again. I was like, okay, I'm already following him because it's kind of like your pre-setup. Mm -hmm. I was like, all right, I'm already following him. But then I looked, I said, well, who invited Gary V? And then it was a young lady who was like the head of digital marketing for Nike and all these other companies. So what do I do? I follow her I too. Like, <laughs> I follow her too. Right. right. And it, and you end up going down that rabbit hole of like, who knows, who knows, who, who knows, who knows, who. And again, good and bad. Right. Right. right? <laughs> so, you know, so when you think about that, you're like, all right, who, like I have, when you start, you get two credits, right? Um, and I guess the more you're on, Chris, you had experience with this and, you know, and if you invite, they start giving you other credits, you get rewarded. Now we haven't figured out the algorithm yet for how you get rewarded for more invites, but 
essentially Chris already, you know, passed the first stage. I haven't yet. Yeah, um, I got to I got to five invites, and I think it has something to do with uh, the people that you're connected with already. Yeah, the people that you invite, how many of them are connected to other people as well? Like, it's oh, okay, weird, well, it's that's yeah, about that. like that's perfect. Okay, so that makes yeah. sense. So we're figuring it out, y'all. Yeah. Right, when we get the secret, we'll let you know in the next episode or something. That's right. But I have two, and I've only considered one person so far. Right. Like now I have a network of people that I trust and believe, but I'm getting a feel for it. But it's selective. Like my face is going to be with these people forever. Right. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? So do we do we see, like you say, some type of ramification in the future? If that person acts up, do they take invites from you or does it in the background just limit what you do? Because you keep bringing, you know, knuckleheads, if you will, onto the platform. Right. Um, and I but, think, again, again, in this in this era of cybersecurity and yeah. right, just people knowing so much about us like remember when i don't know if this is like even a good comparison but remember when like the like they had the whole 9 11 like the terrorist list and then it was mm-hmm. always like who's connected to this person yes went to school with that person and yes it's how they would figure out like how terrorists would be right like correct happen it's a very similar experiment i have a feeling Right. It might oh, that's interesting. Them. That's really interesting because I had a coworker um, who was on the list. I'll just say it like that because they happened to be in an area where the people who did what they did was for too long. Mm. And the government ended up putting them on a list and they're they're going to forever be on a list because they were in an area now they had nothing to do with it right. nothing to do with the people but because they were in the same room as them mm-hmm. for too long mm-hmm. <laughs> that's how crazy it gets and and i think that that's something behind the scenes that's happening on clubhouse i really do i think that it has something to do with like you know God forbid something crazy happens and like it's one person that happened to be on Clubhouse, they'll just go to like the, yeah. ten, the 10 people that like, okay, who invited this person? How does this person know that person? How mm-hmm. do they know that person? And then they could just go all the way down the list. So again- It's uh, already linked. It's already linked, right? It's already so, linked. So again, for our pleasures or for our uh, ambitions of moving business forward and things like that, what are we giving up? What, yeah. are, we, what are we giving into? Yeah, the big question in our society right now. And I know it's people's reservation with a lot of technology companies Mm -hmm. uh, is, you know, what are we really giving up? Because what's their real motive for this? Mm -hmm. Right. What's the what's the company's real agenda behind making it an invite only? Right. It's different than every other platform. You you have 3000 Facebook friends or right. 10,000 insert whatever. But you only get two, three, four, five invites on this. You only get the five right? my friends on here. Right, exactly. So it's like <laughs> this is this is really narrowing it down to like who do you care about? Mm-hmm. Right? Who are who who does trust you? Who do you respect? Like who is in your innermost circle? Yeah. If we are giving that information freely mm-hmm. by inviting people on the clubhouse, right? Like Yeah. Like whatever is most important for the most part to you, for most people. Those are the people you like the people that came to you, business, entrepreneurs, mm-hmm. high success, high ambition people. They come to you like, hey, this is what we want. Mm-hmm. You, of course, is like Terrell, you got to get on here. Right. This is like our space audio. This is what we do, blah, blah, blah. And then as soon as I sign up, I had somebody else hit me up on my Facebook messenger. I haven't talked to this person in years. Like, let me let me clarify that. Sure. I have not engaged with this person in years. Wow. And they hit me up like, are you on Clubhouse? I want to see you an invite. You're the type of person that should be in here. That's crazy. That's and crazy. I'm like, wow, like, you know, like this is years. So how many people did she skip over? To get to you, right? <laughs> to get to, to say, all right, I'm going to give one of my rare invites to you. Yeah. So I thought that was really, 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 you know, eye opening for myself. So where do you see it going though? Let's like, you know, let's, let's go there for a quick second. Yeah. Like, okay, we get out of beta. Does this ever become a willy nilly every free for all? Or does this stay exclusive even when you open it up to the Android platform? It'll grow, right? If, if what they see again, we don't know the, the experiment behind this to see like, okay, th- did it work? Did it not work? Are we yeah. getting good results? Are we not, right? Okay, yes, yeah. Yes, people are using the platform. Yes, there was a huge spike 
from what I read, there's a huge spike in November. From December. December, right? Yeah. Like, it's like yeah. end of November into December, huge spike went from like, you know, 20,000, 30,000 people to like a million in like mm -hmm. a month, right? Yeah. Like just something crazy. So with those type of growth numbers, they're gonna get larger sample size, larger sample size says, okay, well, this is really predictable or this is what we're trying to do. Mm -hmm. I, I think if it scales and it opens up, it's out of beta, it opens up to Android and all the other users, it's going to be at a place where it'll turn paid quickly. Like right? paid to get in. So paid. it'll be open for everybody, but you gotta pay. But you gotta like pay to get in rooms. Right, like type of. Oh, thing. I like, see what you're saying. I, don't I see what you're saying. Because it, again, supply and demand of these social media platforms. Yeah. Right, right now you're in a place where people are trying to figure it out, but there's not enough creators. That's mm -hmm. what happens, right? Yeah. There's not enough people setting up rooms, inviting people on, doing. It's not enough of that happening. So yeah. when that, so so right now we have a lot of people that just come in and you can get 900 people in a room, right? Mm -hmm. A bunch of people in a room and no one has to say anything because it's only you know the five or seven moderators or people that really want to talk, right? What'll happen as it scales? is you're gonna have way more people that then come mm -hmm. on the platform. Then you'll have way more people that want to set up rooms, right? Mm -hmm. So then you'll have more rooms that are open to people. And then that exclusivity is the thing that then no longer is there. Correct. Right? They yeah. can't play off of that. So if it does scale and open up to, to Android, which I think it would, that would be yeah. my guess and my prediction that it would, yeah. it, it would limit the exclusivity kind of FOMO model that it's really playing off of right now. Yeah. But then eventually, just because so many people, I think would find it interesting and potentially even replace it as like a form of radio, right? Mm. We, 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 we were talking about that a bit last night too, is because one of the nights I just had it, like my headphones in as if I was like listening to like a, like a radio, like a talk radio show type of deal. Yeah. And I was doing other things, right? So if it scales, it could turn into something along those lines. And then I think it becomes the exclusivity part if they were yeah. gonna play it out as like, you gotta pay, you know, 20 bucks to get in this room, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, like, yeah. it's like a cover charge to get into the room type of deal. Hmm. Um, it, Cause otherwise, the reason why I think it's growing is because of that FOMO, that fear of missing out, that like, what am I missing that, uh, what's that word? Like where the masses really just like all like, herd mentality type of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. Just like, I really think that that is what's picking up the traction now is because, right, like it happened for me that like I don't have fear of missing out on, on many things. There really is not much. But this one, because I kept hearing it and it was interesting and it's along the lines of what I would like my ambition. Correct. I was like, man, I really need to be here. That will go away if it scales. If it scales, yeah, because it's, you're there. And it's interesting because it's not a lack of platforms out there. <laughs> like, right. <laughs> like, like, like we're all already like, like that's one of the things that I, I made sure I did. I was like, all right, I'm not going to just find all the people I'm already connected with on every other platform. Right. Like, and that's, now that's not to say some people like CP, of course, follow, you know, follow me, I follow CP back other people that were already in that kind of groove. Right. But like, for the most part, I'm like, who's new? Like, who don't I know yet? Like, who's early in here? Like you said, where it's not scaled and it's small enough where I can go through can a room and look at everybody's profile yeah. and be like, okay, yeah, I'm gonna follow that person. I'm gonna follow that person. I'm gonna follow that. You know what I mean? And kind of go from there. So look, this is a time people, people talk about it all the time, man, I wish I would have got in early on Facebook. Man, I would have wished I'd have got it early on Instagram. Man, I wish I wish, 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 wish. Well, here goes your opportunity. That's it. Here you go. Right? Like, I even think about, like, you know, from, you know, having a, a ministry background, it's like, man, you could hold church in here. Mm -hmm. Like, you do. know what I mean? Like, if, yeah, if they do, there's a lot like, of I believe it. I believe it. Yeah, I haven't seen a room yet, but like, hey, on Sunday mm -hmm. at 10 a.m., here you go. Don't worry about being on video. Don't worry about trying to jump on Facebook Live. Just get in. You want to plan in your background? Boom! Just jump on, and I'm gonna talk, and we can have conversation. People can ask, raise their hand, ask questions, and it's a super smooth, seamless process. So there's there. so many things, like, man. Stay there for a minute. What industries do you think would benefit the most like, um, from a platform like like Clubhouse? Like, are there things that you think specifically would would do better? Um, I think the coach, like the the self help. Right. Like, you know, if we want to 
bubble it real heavy, right? Like, you know, general, generalize it to self-help help industry. Um, I do think um, P, industries where it's like, uh, uh, kind of like how you said, like, the coaching well that's kind of self-help the coaching all of that i think like ministry right mm -hmm. like you know people that have like non-profit groups it's an easy platform everybody can jump in kind of network build talk about that um specifically i don't think things that are more product product focused will work really well in here because you're just kind of talking yeah. right like more informational type things right like um, i think um uh, people that trade this is a good, you know, you know, the trading, the stocks, the crypto, really good space, right, to exchange information, really more on that side, because you can't see graphs, right, you can't, there's no pit posting pictures or screen sharing or anything like that. Um, what else? Um, authors, I, movies, authors. Yeah, yeah. movies. Anybody, I think those are good, right? Like, anybody yeah. that's an expert in their field. Yes. I really think can can use the platform, right? Yeah. Like, you hit on a lot of those different industries. I think a I almost want to say like any industry, if you can position yourself in a position to give information and expertise. That's it. I think that's that's the winning formula. And again, we're talking at this context of being here on this platform for a week or so. Yeah. Right? But just to fast forward out and say, OK, well, how will this play out? Um, I think that that's what it is. It's an expertise play. I know the so have you gotten a chance to speak yet in a room? No, no, I've literally just popped in. I don't even know how many, like, you know, just very randomly just popping yeah. in anything that pops up. So yeah, I've spoken in three different rooms, mm -hmm. right? Like one of them, like I said, real small, it was like seven or eight of us. One of them was a little bit bigger. One I got called up on stage. So that's the other side of it too. Even if you don't raise your hand to get pulled up on stage, the moderator, if they see you in the audience and they happen to know you or whatever the case. Or look at your profile. Look at your profile and you're relevant yeah. or whatever. They could call you up onto stage and you could have the, the chance to speak as well. Um, and what I found out as I was listening, and, and this is the best part about learning new platforms because you learn how to engage on the platform. You learn like mm -hmm. how, to, how to maneuver. So as I was in there listening and I was on stage, I was on stage actually paying attention because I wanted to say something relevant, right? If I was going to get a chance to speak, I would want to say something relevant that like made sense mm -hmm. that was along the lines. Like, so I'm actually thinking and paying attention. But while everyone else is speaking, just like you said, like I'm clicking their profile, like, oh, that person, that, that's interesting. That makes sense. And what starts to happen is people are positioning themselves as experts as they're speaking. There's mm -hmm. some people that come in just to ask a question or mm -hmm. whatever the case is, that's fine. But the ones that like have business or have been in their business for a long time, or like I said, can position themselves as an expert in what mm -hmm. they do. Clubhouse could be great. Like I was in a room about divorce and like marriage and relationships. And I started talking about financial services and like how money plays into people's relationships because I talk <laughs> and they're about divorce. Yeah, <laughs> and they're divorced because that's naturally what I do anyway. And mm -hmm. I just happened to be on a platform where they were having a conversation about something that was relevant to what I do anyway. So I can yeah. add my two cents. I noticed after having that conversation, I got another five followers, probably from people in that room, mm -hmm. just because they heard my three minutes or two minutes of me talking about what I believe in. And I think that is the kind of the draw to any mm -hmm. business owner, anybody that is stepping into entrepreneurship, anybody that needs um, awareness for what they do currently, or just yeah. wanna be in the right rooms again. Yeah. When it comes to a mindset thing, when you talk about and we've talked about it plenty on this on this podcast about just how our mindset, how we think, right, dictates a lot of the results we see and, and what happens in our life. So just by changing the mindset or by sitting in these rooms, mm -hmm. right, it changes your environment. Yeah, that's what it does. Like, it's just like being in a room. If you were physically there, you're just not. You're just picking up the information, the language, what's happening, the conversation, and that grows you as a person, whether you're an entrepreneur, right? High achieving, you know, employee, whatever the case is. Yeah. There's a lot of benefit that I believe can come from uh, just sitting in a clubhouse room. Oh, yeah, most definitely, man. And so as we kind of like wrap it up, I'm just thinking, like, what would we leave? Like, I, I well, you left a great, I think that was a great is, you know, kind of where you, you know, where, where are you? 
what are you trying to achieve, right? And like we said, if you are a high achiever, entrepreneur, somebody that's just even even trying to just come into yourself, right? Or if you're just trying to build a network of people, like-minded people that are around you, well, this is a place where a lot of authentic conversation is happening in an environment that is well, seems feel safe so far, right? In an environment that feels safe and honest and pure, right? It's not polarized or anything like that. Now, I did see a room that was like, hey, you know, cash price goes to the best booty shaker. And I'm like, and now I was like, oh Lord, I was, I was, I was, I was sitting, I was like, hold up. So that's what I thought it was still video. And I saw that I was like, well, I was like, well, this gotta be video. <laughs> now, now listen, looking at it and understanding, it, I'm like, how in the world is that possible? <laughs> like, how did you give a cash prize to something you couldn't see? Right? Is this yeah, one of those things your phone number and I text you? <laughs> <laughs> you find a lot of that crazy. So we, we do. Right. We okay. So we want to give like we are big on perspective, right? Meaning both sides of the story. So you do have that. So let us not act like you're gonna go in here. There's gonna be this perfect platform, right. and it ain't gonna be no nonsense or nothing. Let me go ahead and let me just go ahead and say you're still gonna get that because you got human beings, right? Like human beings enter a room, it's corrupt, right? Like it just happens. Okay. But for the most part, you can find what you're looking for. That's, that's, <laughs> right. That's, that's and it's it early on. Yeah, you can find what you're looking for with some good authentic people but if you're looking for trouble and you're that type of person well hey guess what there's some trouble in there too <laughs> i'll leave it there it's you'll trouble in there too <laughs> you'll find it anywhere you go especially on a platform like this and again a lot of newer platforms that come in you're going to get the garbage up front right you're going to get a bunch of craziness yeah. but at the end of the day you go in there with an agenda right don't ever and you know we'll, we'll maybe wrap up the call by kind of or you know this, this 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 episode by kind of talking a little bit about like don't let social media like play you or run your life right like just because we're talking about this app, yeah. right trust me if you didn't get on the you could still build a business you could still do all the things that you want to do right like it's, yes it, it's yes not gonna it's not gonna be make or break or do or die However, it is something that's popular. It is something that has hit the radar. It is something that if you want to have that slight edge when it comes to your uh, your business or wh whatever you're trying to achieve, you want to be an early mover, right? You want to get to places before the masses get there so you can take up some of that market share and really understand things before everyone else gets there. That gives you an advantage as a business owner, as an entrepreneur, as somebody that is just heading to the next level in their life. You've got to be at least aware of the of the areas that other people are playing in that you could also have an advantage so that's why we wanted to bring this to you that's why we wanted to have this conversation yep. about clubhouse because it is on the radar uh you know we're not at we're not you know investors in clubhouse we're not getting paid by you don't them. get nothing from this nothing <laughs> unless you want to pay for an invite <laughs> exactly right we might have a couple on sale we might you never know um but but we're not doing it for any other reason other than it hit our radar we see that this could be something that is important that could change uh you know again the trajectory of your business or your life with just a simple conversation with hearing something again being this the perspective podcast with just hearing someone else's perspective about something that you maybe were thinking about a totally different way you jump on an app like clubhouse you get into a room you hear about a totally different perspective along the same lines it might give you a better way to think about it which helps you get a different result so that's why we're advocates of this we want people to know that like you still just have to engage, change your conversation, change the things that you're talking about in order to change your life and get and get new results. So how do you want to wrap this thing up to you? You want to have a parting word for the people? I think you did it. I think you I think you said it, man, on that one, like engage, be, you know, take advantage of it. If you're looking, well, I guess I could have wrap it up, right? I always have something to say. <laughs> if you were looking for that next platform, because you miss TikTok, you miss Snapchat, you miss, you miss, you miss. So, you know, air quote there, here you go. Congratulations. You, go. you have it. <laughs> you have it. It's yours. Go take it. Go run with it. Go take it. Go go run with it and uh, make, make this thing happen. As always, you know, this was tradition to you. We'd end with a question of the day, right? Question oh, all right. What you got? Question of the day. So uh, the question is, 
first off, right? Like, do you have fear of missing out? If you're not on Clubhouse, do you have fear of missing out of like a platform like Clubhouse? Like, what are your thoughts on this? Are you dying to get in? Could you care less about this? Is it like, oh, this is just another thing? Like, what are your sentiments around Clubhouse? That's the, that, that'll be the question of the day. We'd love to hear from you again. The reason yeah. why we switched this to video is because we want you to see us more, get more yeah. connected with our faces, not just our voices, because we want to hear from you guys. So feel free to reach out to T and I. We're everywhere, Facebook, Instagram, Clubhouse, right? Twitter, <laughs> Twitter uh, TikTok, everywhere, right? So reach yeah. out, ask us a question. Let's continue this conversation uh, because your perspective matters and that's what allows us to continue uh, to, to, to change the world and change our society. So uh, until next week, guys, thanks again for listening to the Perspective Podcast. Signing off, T, say goodbye to the people. All right. It's so funny now. We're like, we audio, we're like, say goodbye. And then, like, you know, now we have to wave. Oh, now like, we have to wave. Now we have to, like, like, do something. <laughs> hey, hey, it's so funny. I'm sorry. I know this is probably going to get, like, an outtake or something. But I wave when I'm in when I'm with people now because I'm so used to waving when I say goodbye now. Like <laughs> I never used to wave. I'm the same way. I'm the same way. <laughs> like, I'm very bye, bye. I'm not used to waving for a screen. I never <laughs> wave. But either way, now I guess we have to have some signature wave, like sign off. <laughs> I'm gonna do the salute. There we and go. I'm old school. I'm gonna do the salute. Still. I got you. I'm just gonna keep it simple with the wave. <laughs> <laughs> but guys, we love you. God bless you guys. We'll, we'll check you out next week for Perspective Podcast. Take care. All right, now. <laughs> Thank you so much for listening to this episode of the Perspective Podcast. We hope this conversation made you think a bit deeper, gain some insight, or even possibly even gain a brand new perspective. If you did enjoy it, do us a favor. Please subscribe to our podcast on Apple Music, Spotify, Anchor, or anywhere else you stream. Leave a review to help more people experience these conversations and potentially change their perspective as well. And lastly, as always, T and I want you to connect with us. So follow us on Facebook, on Instagram, LinkedIn, and Twitter. You can find us just by using our names. And there we get a chance to hear your perspective. Until next time, God bless.